Welcome to your Oh My Home Tours. Here's a very exciting two and a half story corner semi-detached house that's for sale. Oh My Home is taking you to District 20's Ang Mo Kio to a landed property enclave on St. Nicholas View. We are right across the street from CHIJ St. Nick's and we're also just a few minutes walk away to Mayflower MRT. If you love living in the Upper Thompson or Amokio vicinity and you are looking for a bigger space, this is a perfect place to raise a family. Now, specifics of this house. Land size is 5,222 square feet. Build up is about 2,600 square feet. It is a 99 year leasehold property with about 70 years left. Previous valuation is at $3.7 million. And this is an undervalued property, which we are selling for $3.6 million. You have five bedrooms, five baths in total. You have an ensuite, two share a common Jack and Joe bathroom, one room at the top floor, and you have an extra room on level one, plus a storage room and helper's room at the back. So with this corner property, you have a long driveway, so space to park up to three cars in your own property. This setup actually allows you to have more privacy. So with the curved entrance, people actually cannot see your garden or door from the gate. Welcome in! Well, when you first come in, you're immediately greeted by this feeling of spaciousness and that is thanks to great ceiling height. You have 3.2 meters on the first floor and it even goes up to 4.4 meters on level 2. Now walking in, you also have these great floor finishings. You have granite tiles that are so well maintained that when the Oh My Home renovation team came to visit, they were so surprised by its condition. Now walking further into the house, past the living room area, is your dining room area. Right now it seats eight, but you can easily stretch it to about 10 to 12 people. And off to the side here is where you find your first room. Technically a room, it's a storage closet for you to tuck all of your stuff away. Now even further in now is where you'll find the first bedroom of the house. This is technically called the granny's room, but it's also a guest room. This room can actually fit a queen size bed. There are no built-ins here. Clearly they're using it as a storage room for now, but for that occasional guest that comes to visit, this is the perfect place for them. Right off to this side is the common bathroom. This is the bathroom that will be utilized by all of your guests when they come to visit. And off to the left here is your enclosed kitchen. Now the owners actually recently renovated this entire space so you get to enjoy modern finishings as well as carpentry when you move into the space. This kitchen also gives you direct access to your indoor yard and your outdoor living space. There's also a WC and a helper's room. You also have full access to your amazing yard and your potential outdoor dining area. So that's it for level one. Let's head up to level two. Now, right from the landing, you have your master ensuite to your left. You have a common bathroom as well as two bedrooms that share a Jack and Jill style bathroom. Let's take a look at this one first. So welcome into bedroom one. This is technically the smallest room on this floor, but queen size, king size bed, absolutely no problem for this room. Of course, if you put it in a smaller bed like they did here, that affords you with a lot more space to put in a study table, a vanity, or even a play area for your kids. Over here, you could fit a four or five door wardrobe. This is not built in and doesn't come with the place. On this side is where you will find the entrance to your Jack and Jill bathroom and you'll be sharing the bathroom with the person who lives in this room, just like common bedroom one. Queen size bed, king size bed is no problem. There's still plenty of space in this room for you to build your own very sizable wardrobe. So even though you already have your own connecting bathroom, there's a bonus bathroom right here, right outside the door. This bathroom can be utilized by guests who come to visit or the person who stays in the attic. We'll show you that in a minute. And across the way, you are in the master. Look at this large suite with the beautiful vintage windows. And this is what I was talking about downstairs, the 4.4 meter high ceilings that really adds a lot of spaciousness to the space. This is a king size bed, but the room is so big that it may not actually seem like it. The four door paneled wardrobe and the vanity plus the headboard 
is built in, you can actually still use this wall to add or build in another three or four door wardrobe to add more space for your clothes. And of course, just a few steps away, you have the master bathroom. And that's level two. Let's head up to the final room on level three. And now we're in the final room of the house, which is technically the attic. Now the current owners used to have it as a music room, which makes sense because with it, the attic being so high up, the noise wouldn't be able to travel so far down. But whoever ends up living in this space would love the privacy in terms of space. A queen size bed again will be no problem. Do know that there is no bathroom on this floor, but all the occupant has to do is head down one flight of stairs to use that common bathroom that we talked about. And that's a quick look at this landed house in St. Nicholas View. We hope that you enjoyed this tour. If you need any more information or you want to come down and see this place yourself, information is down below. Do contact Oh My Home and our super agent will be very happy to help you. See you guys at our next home tour. Bye!